for those people watching this video, I mean, there may be people watching this video who, let's say, if they have any physical symptoms or any symptoms at all of illness or disease, mm. whatever label you'd like to put on it, um, their natural inclination, let's say, or their choice, you might say, conscious or otherwise, would be to go to their GP. Yes, generally you know, it is. I mean, in, in what circumstances then would you, you know, um, advocate, if you would at all, that they come to you? Not necessarily instead of, but maybe in addition to, or in other words, what can you offer that the GP can't, as it were? Well, I don't know that I can offer anything that they can't. Okay. And I, because this is not about necessarily it's I can do comparison. something that yeah it's not about I can do something that they cannot do okay. or they can do something that I cannot do I mean I I'm I'm not a medical practitioner so mm -hmm. therefore I cannot uh, I I don't hold myself out as a mm -hmm. medical practitioner in, in any mm -hmm. in any shape or form mm -hmm. um, but can I support if some if a patient has stress um, could I support somebody with stress? Could I support somebody with depression? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um, are there techniques that I can use to support patients? Um, absolutely. Do I do what I suggest in any shape or form that they should see me exclusively? No. Actually, I would advocate it the other way around. Mm -hmm. I would say that if you are any way concerned, please go and see your medical practitioner. Mm -hmm. And I would want to work with the medical practitioner. Mm -hmm. I would want them to know mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. that I'm working with a patient mm -hmm. together. I mean, that mm -hmm. would be the ideal world that we both support right. the patient together. Right. Um, and could you do that if you were working energetically with a patient and you knew that that patient was taking drugs, let's say something like AZT or, or Prozac or something like that, well, there you know, knowing that that might be affecting their energy field, in other words, possibly, I mean, I may be wrong, but possibly even undermining what you're doing in an energetic sense, is that possible? Well, you used examples of, um, of medication. We do a thorough intake form whenever we work with with clients right. and I that's one of the questions that I ask and what are they taking uh, what what medicines are, are they yeah, taking sure and there are certain circumstances where we would not be we're trained as healers yeah and we are not uh, advised to work with patients on med certain medications oh, I see okay and uh, that's quite specific and we have quite strong guidelines in fact very strong guidelines on how we work with patients on um, on, uh, on such medications, right? And um, there are certain techniques that you wouldn't do uh, working on a heart patient, for example. Um, if somebody who's had heart surgery, you just wouldn't go anywhere near because of somebody with a pacemaker, for example. I mean, that's why it's important for us mm. to do very careful intake forms because what we do do influences. Is that because? You can't then work, I don't quite understand that, is that then because you can't then work with, an, with the energy field in an effective way? Well, um, I mean surely energy healing is, is all embracing, it doesn't matter what the, hmm. what the person has or does or is, I mean isn't that the whole, isn't that the whole ethos of it? That, it's, that it, it's universal almost, that it's actually mirroring mm. what, let's say, the quantum physics physicists might tell us, which I think they do tell us, that everything ultimately is energy. Yeah. So you're working at the level, the universal level, rather than the, mm. the boxed level, as I would call it, of, of, you know, let's say, and I mean, I don't get me wrong, this is, I'm not having to go to orthodox medicine, but the box level of, of, of let's say, a GP's practice who's saying, right, you know, if you've got a headache, you can take this tablet, you know. Yeah, I, I would always recommend that somebody seeks medical advice if they have a medical issue. Yeah. Um, and um, to take... But that's because you're being, isn't that because you've been told to do that and it's just being purely defensive in a sense, in case you're going to be sued or something, is, isn't that right? Well, it's relevant in the sense that... Um, in the sense to that area of, oh. of, of malpractice and um, yeah. of insurance, yes, of course, it's relevant. And one would be um, being, uh, what's the word, um, not sensible, it wouldn't be sensible to ignore oh. that type of issue yeah. because it is relevant to any practitioner mm. and a healing and complementary practitioner mm. as much as any other practitioner mm. but it's it's not necessarily for that reason 
Mm. Um, it really is um, because to get a diagnosis from a medical practitioner for the individual taking responsibility for their own health, mm. it really is down to them. But there are certain times where really energy work is not advised. Mm. And it's important as a, as a practitioner to mm. know uh, in my own practice, mm. what are the boundaries mm. of working with a particular patient? Mm. For example, if I know that um, a patient has been hospitalized um, for psychological reasons, mm. they would not necessarily be a good candidate for healing mm. because they need to be under mm. um, uh, uh, defined mm. um, model um, of medical management. So does that mean and that it's energy not my healing, area of expertise? But yeah. would would it um, w if I take an assessment and um, um, I suppose it's not even if I feel if I assess the patient the client, it's not a patient. If I assess the client yeah. and um, I take and I clearly see that they would uh, that they would benefit. From mm. the work I do mm. at whatever level, mm. whether it's just a healing conversation, mm. Mm. then I would want to support them. Right. But would I choose to do more, more active, mm. deeper energy techniques? No. Mm. Mm. I wouldn't do it. Mm. So, are you then saying, indirectly, if not directly, that energy healing is only part? I mean, it's not the whole. In other words, energy healing cannot embrace every symptom, every, every cause and effect. Is that what you're saying? Because that's what I'm hearing. Well, you may be hearing it from me as a practitioner mm. out of my own personal choice. Okay. But if you spoke to, um, for example, there are uh, psychic surgeons in Philippines right. and also in Brazil. Yes. If you ask them that question, then you would get a completely different, different answer, answer okay. because they're Fair working enough. in a completely yes. different yes, environment. Yes, 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 okay. um, and so they don't have to worry about laws saying that no, they can't it, say anything about it. I would say it's not just that. When I, I, in fact, I don't necessarily believe that one should start from that perspective. Right. They have a way of healing, and I, I'm not an expert on, on their modalities, though I've experienced it. Yeah. Um, I they have a strong belief and a sense in the mm. work they do mm. and they do amazing work mm. and do they work with the same rules and uh, personal belief systems mm. that I do? No, because mm. they studied a completely different way and they yeah, come okay. through their own yeah. system. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to focus, to make uh, th this such a big focus of healing or medical um, system because I don't, um, I in my life um, express my own personal choice and mm. I support others with a personal mm. choice mm. Um, but I don't advocate for anybody not to use the mainstream medical system because yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know it's there Making yeah. there, are the there are some people in the world who truly believe that they have the power to heal and they do yeah. Yeah. and mm. it defies mm. medical explanation there are a hundred I mean, mm. I mean I can just think of uh, there are a couple now which I can think of yeah. which uh, w which have defied doctors mm. uh, medi medical the medical system you sure. know that's happening all the time yeah. these mini miracles are happening all the time right but as a what you're doing I, I, in your question I think is relating the individual and then there's the whole because there's the we are we are individual bodies but we're part of the greater body mm. has the greater body um, moved to that place yet I think what we have to do is say no it's not there yeah, yet. No, sure. but are we moving in that direction yes I think yeah. and there's a lot of literature on mm. that that we actually are right, right. Um, and am I hopeful that we will move more in that direction? Okay. Absolutely. Sure, I mean, sure. that's my, my sure. longing and my wish. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm an advocate of um, that we really can influence our own health. Yeah. Yeah. Because I want to take back the responsibility. Oh. Um, we've given a lot of responsibility over to other people in, oh. our, in the oh. world. Um, you can just see it in the news all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm an advocate of people taking back responsibility for their own lives mm -hmm. and their own choices and their own mm -hmm. uh, medical treatment mm -hmm. and the way that they choose to treat themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I think it's really important mm -hmm. to do so. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm 
um, I love so much working with people to mm. find their their longing to work with their purpose Wonderful. because it's through that can they become enlivened mm. yeah. and it's ultimately through that experience mm. of essence that that really it's not that really is mm. what does the healing. Yeah. I want to ask you about that but just mm. to close one particular loop that I think we opened earlier mm. um, can you just tell us quickly what psychic surgery means in case there are people watching <laughs> this who who probably got no idea you know never heard of it well, or uh, you know would like to think they know but maybe just to give us a, a quick are, can um, you give us a quick two or I three sentences uh, on it i don't profess to be an expert um there is a but know, how it works well basically. there are it depends on what psychic surgery you're talking about. Okay. It's, uh, <laughs> there I was I can, thinking it was an easy question. I can think of at least three, okay. Um, okay. just off the top of my head. Okay. So um, just give us an example then. Well, um, in the Brennan model, there is a healing technique called fifth level surgery, which right. works on the fifth level of the, the energy field. And, and just to clarify, there are no knives involved, there are no, no. there's no opening of the body. No. So no. it's not surgery in that sense, and it's not um, it's not surgery in any in in that sense. Right. Um, and you're working with um, uh, the patient uh, clients to uh, in a particular way yeah. through a particular use of a technique right. holding a particular vibration, right. which supports um, um, which supports the uh, healing of the client. Right. Okay, and that's within the Brennan model. Um, there are um, psychic surgery, as I understand it, and I'm not an expert. Um, there are uh, psychic surgeons in the Philippines who actually use their hands to go in, actually into the body, and perform medical techniques within the body. So that's actually going into the energy field rather than no, it's physically actually going. It's into, actually physically going, going into, into the, the body. Physical you can body. actually see the hand going in. Um, I've not seen it personally but there are oh. multiple videos on the internet oh, for really? people who want check to look that out, yeah. to check that out mm. and there the a particular center for that is Brazil and also okay. uh, the Philippines oh, I didn't know that. Okay. and um, whilst I haven't been to Brazil or the Philippines I've mm. worked with mm. um, one particular well-known healer from the Philippines who works in that way okay. cool. and it was interesting um, partly useful partly not